Okay, slowing in and slowing out. So slowing in, or sometimes called easing in, is when you have the motion of something that's not uniform, and then we have it either, if it's not uniform, it's speeding up or slowing down or changing direction. Now, when the speed is decreasing, then the spacings uh, decrease. And in uh, animation, this is called uh, slowing in. Uh, a sled that's uh, slowing down due to friction uh, and then coming to a stop would be an example of slowing in. Slowing out uh, is when the spacings are getting larger and larger. So the uh, uh, whatever is moving is gaining speed. So uh, something rolling down a ramp or the very simplest example, the uh, ball dropped uh, and is accelerated by gravity is uh, slowing out as it falls. Now, slowing in and slowing out is uh, another one of the uh, principles of animation, so uh, that's discussed quite a bit. And in fact, the um, ball drop uh, exercise is a great example of uh, looking at the motion of something that's slowing out. Say you start at the apex and as the ball is falling it's gaining uh, speed so it's uh, slowing out from the apex. Well uh, let's look at some uh, simple video reference of um, what a ball drop might look like. That's uh, pretty basic. Uh, let's look at that in slow motion at, at one quarter speed and try to look at more detail. Now, uh, that uh, spacing of the falling motion from the uh, from the apex, it's uh, it's critical to get those uh, spacings uh, to look believable. Uh, it's not quite enough to just make the spacings get larger and larger. Uh, you you need to uh, get something that looks accurate. Now, here's uh, an example of what happens if uh, the spacings are not um, accurate or believable. And it's very noticeable if you have the case where the ball is actually thrown upwards, comes to a maximum height, and then falls back down. So uh, the one on the far right is a fairly correct, believable spacings. Uh, the one in the middle here is, is not quite correct. And um, the one here on the leftmost is um, very wrong. Uh, so if you were to animate this motion with um, uh, this uh, incorrect sort of spacings, as the ball went up, it would prematurely stop as if it was hitting some invisible ceiling. And then um, uh, that would be uh, not look as if it had naturally come to a stop as it, as it does in the correct version. Uh, let's look at some cases where uh, the one on the left, uh, it's stopping somewhat prematurely as if it's hitting something at the uh, before it would reach its natural apex. Uh, but the one on the right is a better example of slowing into the apex and slowing out of the apex. Now, there's a few ways of uh, approaching uh, animation and one of the techniques is uh, straight ahead animation where you start with your with your first drawing and you have sort of an idea of where you want to be going and then uh, starting from this first uh, key pose you uh, go on to the next one and the next one and so forth so uh, as I said this is called uh, straight ahead uh, action uh, this is 
one way of doing a uh, traditional hand-drawn animation. Uh, it's um, usually the only way of doing uh, stop stop motion. Uh, there's another technique called uh, pose to pose, and uh, that's also used in in traditional and uh, it's uh, much more common for uh, computer animation. So we'll uh, we'll be discussing uh, both straight ahead uh, and pose to pose, but we'll start with uh, straight ahead. Now, for the ball drop, the idea would be to start, say, from the uh, apex drawing, and then in uh, straight ahead, uh, we would pick the the next drawing. If we were shooting on twos, that would be two frames later, uh, and then after we've established where that one is, then we go to the third drawing, uh, and and so forth. So now. Uh, the question is, how do we get these spacings so that uh, it looks like believable slowing out from an apex? And that's what we'll be doing in the next uh, few tutorials. So just to uh, summarize, uh, slowing in and slowing out is an important concept in animation. And uh, falling motion from an apex is a classic example of slowing out. In uh, straight ahead action, you start from the first uh, key pose, and then you create the next uh, key, and then the next, and, and so forth. And uh, the spacings, as you're slowing out of an apex, or if for rising motion, slowing into an apex, those spacings are, are critical to creating motion that's uh, believable. So we'll be uh, looking at that in the next tutorials. See you then.